Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with your devotion entitled "This Year Think Possible." This year, think possible. Last Friday, I shared with you hope and faith, or faith and hope in God. Today, we want to continue on. This year, think possible. Matthew nineteen, verse twenty six. Jesus looked at them and said. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And Matthew thirteen verse fifty eight says, and he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. You know these two verses means mean this: many things that are possibly remain possible remain undone because of doubt and unbelief. One more time. Many things that are possible remain undone because of doubt and unbelief. This year, twenty twenty three, think possible. Can you? If God, God's word says you can succeed, that you but but you are feeling it may means two things. You don't really believe what God says about you and about your situation. Number two. You are not willing to do your part and do it well. When you think possible, it increases your energy level. When you when who gets energized in at the prospect of losing, if you know something can't succeed, how much time and energy are you willing to give it? It's true when we always think about it cannot be done, it cannot be done, it cannot be done. Will you give time? You will not give time. You will not believe. You won't even trust yourself. You won't. When you you will not even look further. Your only interest at the time is to invest yourself in what you believe can succeed. So when you think possible, trust God for success. When in in even in the most difficult trying situation, if only you dare to think possible with God, you can trust God for success. With us may not be, we do our part and we trust God for the God for the rest, and then it is possible you and I can be successful because God can help you only when you trust Him. Your faith then becomes the energizing force. Some people believe that possibility thinkers are naive, or foolish. If one of them, if you are one of them, answer this. Number one. How many highly successful people do you know who are continually negative? Number two, how many impossibility thinkers are you acquainted with who achieve big things? None. That's the answer. None. The first step to possible or to thinking possible is to stop yourself from searching for and dwelling on what's wrong. With each situation that you and I face, we must remember this. You know, you if you want to think possible, you must stop searching for answer. You must stop. You must start believing. You must start thinking. God is in control. God is on the throne. God will help me through. God will bring me through. In each situation, each challenge in life that you and I face, people with an It can be done. Mindset have two choices. One, they can expect the worst and continually experience the worst, or they can change the thinking. It is in a bad. I'm in a bad situation, but God can give me the wisdom, and God can provide a way out, and God can strengthen, and God can help me. That's the way of changing your thoughts. And that begins with eliminating the negative self-talk you hear in your head before you have even opened your mouth. Sometimes we self-talk so much, cannot, 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 and you know what? It will affect you and I, and we cannot find no hope, no faith in believing God for greater things in our lives. Proverbs eighteen twenty one says, "The tongue can bring death or life." Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. You see, when you speak good things, when you speak positive things, can you speak 
possibility. Can you, if, when you speak, it is possible. It can be done. God can help me. You know what? It helps you not to rip life without good things in your life. In order to think possible, you must believe and speak possible. Amen? So this year, 2023, begins to think and speak possibility over your life. One more time. Speak possibility over your life, your family, your ministry, uh, your career, your businesses, your studies, your marriages, your relationships, and so on and so on and so on. And then you not only speak, you must believe and you must trust your God for them. And you know what happens when you do that, when you believe and trust your God, God will begin to work a miracle in your life because you place your faith, you place your hope in Him. When you think possible, when you believe Him. Amen? And that brings life, hope for your future, for your life right now. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless each of us. Help us to think positive and possible for today in our lives, in whatever we are facing, because you are a great God. In Jesus' name, amen. You have a great day and God bless you.